So my wife is not feeling well. So she requested tomato soup from the Koala restaurant. That's where I'm going right now. Tomato soup from the Koala restaurant. That's where I'm going right now. I'm gonna check this out. Here it is. So I'm here in the Koala restaurant and I just ordered a tomato soup for takeaway and they did they do not have any takeaway soup options. But they're problem solvers. They decided to put the soup in coffee cups for it to go. I think that's one, that's ingenious and that's good thinking on their feet. The interior of Koala Restaurant is wonderful. It's very spacious, bright, airy, and I enjoy this side with the tree background, which is sort of the left side. And then there is the outside seating, but inside is smoke-free. And so I prefer the smoke-free side. So I got the tomato soup from Koala and one of the owners felt bad that we had to put the tomato soup in a coffee cup for a takeaway, for it to go. And so he actually gifted us the soup as a complimentary gift. So that's good, Koala. Keep it up. Now the test is, will Kay like it? We'll find out. Curious, when you're sick and feeling a little down and out, what foods do you turn to? Comment down below. For me, I probably like to go towards sweets for comfort food. If I'm not feeling well, whether it's cake or ice cream, cookies, anything like that, it's not good. Especially if I'm trying to talk about diet and fitness, or health and fitness. One thing that's really good at Pupgood Eats is people respect the crosswalks, drivers respect the crosswalks, and for the most part, pedestrians respect them too, as in they choose to walk on the crosswalks at the right time. And they usually wait, usually, I think 80% of the time, we wait until the light turns green to actually cross on the crosswalk. And I like that. There's consistency, but if you're a driver and you're always turning, you have to you have to watch out for pedestrians crossing if they have right away. So although drivers respect pedestrians, Drivers don't really respect one another. So if you are driving on the road, be prepared to be honked at for every little reason. What if for whatever reason you'll get honked at? And then I find it just as a gentle reminder that somebody thinks that you're in their way. Maybe they're in a hurry. Maybe they've had a bad day. Maybe they've been honked at and they're looking for other people to honk at. Whatever it is, it's always a test of patience for, for me and other drivers. Um, and an opportunity to show some love, to try to let other people maybe have their way and, and not be part of the problem. I used, to, I used to be part of the problem where if somebody did me wrong, I'd want to get them back. I define that as road rage, even if there's no guns being pulled out. <laughs> but if somebody does you wrong in driving, just let them go, let them pass. That little seed of patience um, will help help bring a little more peace on the road and I like that even though I live in the city there's a lot of green space here in Podgorica and they're always planting new trees like I'm here right next to this new little tree right here and there's park benches uh, throughout the city at least here in block five it's a wonderful green space it's a nice like park like atmosphere almost like a university campus so I got some medicine Got the soup, now it's time to come home and deliver the goods to Kay and see how she likes them. So she's not here. I think she's still resting upstairs in her bedroom.
so she's sleeping, and I better put a soup spoon right next to her soup so that she knows it's soup and not she won't tip it over. She's up. How's your rest? Oh goodness. You're on YouTube. I want to punch it. <laughs> I got you tomato soup from Koala and medicine. For me, it would just be like cake, ice cream, cookies. Are you still recording? I am. So here's a free marriage and leadership lesson. You have to serve the people you love. That means sacrificing, that means going out of your way to, to serve them, to do good for them. It's not always about demanding and asking the people that you lead or the people you're married to. It's always about serving them, placing their needs above yours. It's a marriage and leadership lesson right there. Kay was blessed, Kay was loved on. I was not selfish in any of my dealings. And that's just a part of everyday life. In the Poyovich household and in the kingdom. Of loving one another, serving one another, and going out of your way to, to place others' needs above your own. If you want to see more vlog style videos like this one today from you just going, doing life in the city and being with family, please like and comment down below and make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.